here. I think I didn't post it because um, we're back to pencil and paper. Okay. So here we go again today, guys. I, I feel like you know this already. Uh, an isosceles triangle is what? Somebody tell me what an isosceles triangle is. Tell me. <coughs> yeah. Two sides of a triangle are equal. All right, then there's something called an equilateral triangle. Equilateral just means what? All sides. All sides are equal. Now, if I was writing the definition, I would write it differently. The definition of isosceles is supposed to be at least two sides are equal. All right, which to me doesn't make sense because that means that every equilateral triangle is also considered what? Isosceles. Yeah, it's also considered isosceles, which to me doesn't make sense. But that's just for your own information. I am not going to put that on a test or anything. All right, I just want you to try to remember that every isosceles or every equilateral is also considered isosceles. All right. So isosceles triangle. Now, the main lesson for today, though, is if you have an isosceles triangle, all right, and you know two sides are equal, then the base angles are considered equal, all right? So in an isosceles triangle, since this one's up, we're going to say this is congruent to this. That means that angle one is automatically congruent to what? Which will help us tremendously prove triangles are congruent. All right, if you know two sides are equal, then the opposite angles are equal. All right, and we just call that the isosceles triangle theorem. All right. Also, if two angles of a triangle are congruent, then what? The two sides are congruent. Then the two sides, the two opposite sides are also congruent. That's considered the converse. All right, once again, do I really care if you call it converse or anything? No. All right, now uh, it is a theorem. All right, so you can just say the isosceles triangle theorem. All right, if the two sides of a triangle are equal, then the base angles are equal. Um, C is called the vertex. All right, A and B are called the base angles. All right, is everybody okay with that? All right, and then let's just take a quick look at an equilateral triangle. So if all the sides are equal, then what's probably true? All the angles are equal. Can somebody tell me what the measure of each angle would be if it's or if it's an equilateral? 60. Obviously 60. 180 divided by 3 is 60. So all of the angles would be 60 degrees. Everybody okay with that? All right, that's, <laughs> blush. that's just the summary of what was important in this part. Yes, good for you. Um, scalene, if something is scalene, that's a pretty good question. That means no sides are equal, correct? Mm -hmm. And if no sides are equal, then what's true about the angles? None of the angles are congruent. Okay, so that's good. All right. So now let's just quickly get started, then I'm going to leave you alone. All right. Refer to the figure at the right. Okay, and I'm perfectly fine with just writing out the answers for this. All right, if AB is congruent to CB, so I'm going to go ahead and mark that. If AB is congruent to CB, then what two angles are congruent? Go. Angle B. B what? BCB. Yeah, but, but now you it's hard to say angle A because there's three possibilities, right? So you have to say what? Say it. CAB and ACB. That is correct. All right. Harrison, you said this angle, right? I think that's what you were talking about. All right. But it has to be what? It has to be the big triangle is what they're referring to. You would be on that? And again, it's good that everybody made a little bit of a mistake there. All right, so we can all correct it right now. All right, that's the triangle they're talking about. All right, is everybody okay with that? All right. So there was number one. All right, so now let's take a look at number two. If angle EAC, so EAC 
is congruent to ECA, then what two sides are congruent? What two sides? Go ahead, Carson. Yes, EC and EA. All right. That's pretty easy, right? Very simple. All right. Now for question number three. What's the measure of angle H? Obviously. 60. 60. All right. Then what could you conclude? All of the sides measure what? All the sides are 12 and equilateral and equiangular. That is correct. All right. It's not asking you that. I'm just telling you that. All right. Any questions? All right. I told you. What's the measure of angle MRP? Obviously now. 60. All of them are 60. All right. 60 degrees. What's the matter? What you need? I was just asking you about the Yeah, don't worry about the heading. Just work with this. Okay, just work with this. I'll show you in a minute. It's not a big deal. All right. Okay, so now for question number five, what equation are we writing? <coughs> Gavin, tell me what's the equation. 2z minus 15 equals 9. Right. 2z minus 15 equals 9. And use your math skills to tell me what Z is. Um, Z is... Why is I mean, it? No, Z is... Well... Very good. That was quick. Thank you, Gavin. Alright. Now, we're on question number six. All right, someone tell me about this equation. Good, Virginia, thank you. Go. What's true? Let's go with that if you're having a little bit of trouble. Why do we why do you think it's equilateral? Now, let me show you something real quick. I know for sure it's not equilateral. How, be, yes, it is isosceles, but most important, and, and this is okay, I'm just trying to show you. If if one angle is 62 degrees, there's no way it can be equilateral. Do you agree? Yeah. You with me? So, what two sides are equal? Yes. Now, what they're trying to do in this particular case is I think what they're doing is they're trying to draw the triangle not accurate to see if they can throw you off. All right, so what is true if those two sides are congruent? What two angles are congruent? Yeah, there you go. Or you could say angle X is equal to angle Y, right? So we would just say 4X minus 2. is equal to 62, all right? So x is equal to what? Tell me, 16, come on guys, wake up. x equals 16, everybody okay with that? <coughs> That's pretty easy, right? All right, so now let's take a look at what's going on down here with this proof. All right, here we go. So, again, guys, I, I think we're doing better, but I'm going to find out when I look at your proofs here that you did last night, hopefully. So I'm going to grab this. All right, given. Now, I tried to show some of you guys. Start with the given. Check each part of the given. So if ABC is isosceles, 
All right. What does step two mean? Good. Um, yes, but let's, I, I'm, you're 100% correct. But what? Tell me. What else? Yeah, now that's the definition of isosceles. Is everybody with me on this? Right, so we, I, did, I could have written what you said, Catalina, right? But I just, you know, not that it matters, but I would just go ahead and say that because on the test, the, the figure is not going to be marked. All right, you, you're going to have to tell me that. So I believe the first thing is, everybody should say, is AB is congruent to what? Um, CB would be better. And that is because that's the definition of what? Isosceles. Yeah, that's the definition of isosceles. So an isosceles triangle, then two sides are congruent. Now, number three, now we're going to go what Catalina said. Angle A is congruent to what? Angle C, right? And what was that called? I think it's I, the, the theorem, right? The theorem says if two sides are equal, then the what? Angles are equal. Angles are equal. All right. So that's the isosceles theorem. Let's just put isosceles theorem. The isosceles theorem. Okay, so now I'm going to mark this congruent to this. Ooh. Dalton, give me a shot. Okay, so let's go ahead and write that. EB is congruent to EB, and that's what? Reflexive. So, did that, does that prove the triangles are congruent? Yes. No. Definitely not. Right, definitely not. That's angle side side, right? Got to be careful, that's what I'm saying. Angle side side. Does everybody see that? All right. So, you could say that. I'm not sure it helped us, right? But there's nothing wrong. All right, tell me what. You could do angle AE. Yes. Now watch. Angle A. What did you say? Angle A. I want to make. No, I don't think so. But what what angle is being bisected? Good. Come on now. This is a good mistake. What angle is being bisected? Angle A B C. So now what? He knows. Leave him alone. Let him think. A, and here's how you want to make sure, guys. And, and again, I should have said this earlier, but I just thought it was kind of obvious. So obviously it's not. So what I want to do is I'm going to show you again. Oh, that's too big. Sorry. This right here is the angle that's being bisected. You see what I'm saying, right? It's easy to make a mistake on that. ABE. That's what I'm saying. Highlight. Much better to highlight. All right, so we're going to say angle A, B, E is congruent to what? Angle E, B, C. E, B, C is fine with me. And that's what? Uh, definition of bisect. And I could put angle bisector, but that's okay. Now you have choices, right? All right, now we're going to mark it so... This is congruent to this. And now, just so we can see it, that's congruent to that. So now you have definitely have choices, right? So we could say what? Oh, triangle ABE is congruent to triangle CBE. We could do, definitely do angle side angle. We could also do what? There is no right angle here. What? 
No, no, no. Now listen, CPCTC is only what I'm trying to <clears throat> prove. For example, AE is congruent to EC. Oh. Right. I'm asking you what other ways. So far, somebody said what? Somebody said angle, side, angle. So I'm highlighting angle, side, angle. Angle, side, angle. What else? Angle, angle, side. Yes. Angle, angle, side could be used. Angle, angle, side because I'm going angle, angle, side. All right. What else? Tell them. Side, angle. You could do side, angle, side. That's what I'm saying. I have to be careful, right? So sh telling me that EB was congruent to EB just made what? Just made it so you could choose just about any of them. Does everybody agree with that? Mm -hmm. All right. If we didn't say EB was congruent to EB, then it would be angle, side, angle. Does everybody agree with that? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. I don't care what you're doing. I just have to write it all down so I can follow you. All right? So now, number six, again, we would just write this. And then you have your choice of what you're doing. All right, we would say what? We would say, oh uh, yeah, angle, side, angle, whatever. I don't care. All right, whatever you decide to write down is good. Now, since someone made a mistake, I'm going to go ahead and say this. What if it said prove? AE was congruent to EC. That would be what? Yes, that would be uh, CPCTC. Emily, you with me on that now? Mm -hmm. Right? Corresponding parts of congruent triangles. You use that after you prove the triangles are congruent. Oh. All right, use that after. So you... when, only when you're trying to find like, a line segment? Only when you're trying to find a part of a triangle is congruent to another part. That's what CPCTC stands but for. in this case, you want the triangle. Right. We just uh, we stopped before that step. That's why I'm saying if I said prove this, that's when you would say CPCTC. Oh, yeah. Right? Somebody else have any issues? Guys, I hope you feel like you're getting better at it because I don't, I, don't, I don't really think it's that hard, right? It's really not. You just have to... Figure out a way, all right? Now, if I'm not mistaken here, guys, I think the rest of it is, those are just easy problems there. Those are just finding the measures of triangles, finding the measure of sides, that's kind of easy. That's just basic algebra, and the equations are so easy, it's pretty much mental math, all right? I don't mind that, all right? Some of those questions are gonna be on the test, though, so you gotta be careful, what? I know, don't worry about it right for this second. Let me just go through. All right, here's one proof. All right, here's two proofs. And then more. Oh, there's a quadratic in 38, so you've got to be careful with that. You've got to remember how to factor. There's another quadratic in 39, which is super important. And then 40 through 43, uh, that's not a big deal. All right, I don't really just put the pictures on there, but the triangles are there, so it doesn't matter. So I want you to try the true proofs, or I want you to try, sorry, the two proofs on your own again. All right, try to do a good job. Draw the picture out. All right, if you forgot how to do the factoring, you need to ask me. All right, uh, that's just something you, you, you should be good at. All right, we spent a long time on that. All right, now for those of you guys who came in late, there, there's the assignment. All right. And again, guys, I really think you're doing a pretty good job. I'm going to look through the proofs that you gave me, and some of you I'm going to, you know, see what you're doing. All right? I hope they're good. All right? I hope they're good. All right? The test will be on Monday. Majority of it will be proofs. Majority of it will be proofs. I think I looked at the task, test from last year. It was about 50%. So I think I'll keep it that way. All right, I think I'll keep half of its proofs and half of it's just solving little triangle problems. All right, plus some SAT questions. All right, anybody have any questions? All right, what I was saying earlier is important, guys. Get, try to get your work done now. All right, I don't think I posted the solutions yet, so I'm going to do that first thing. All right, but get to work.